Hello, it is Foundation Friday, July 5th, 2019. Steve Cypress here on the day that many Americans, we celebrated our country's birthday yesterday, uh, many of us, some deranged people complained about everything and uh, acted extremely un-American, but we won't talk about that again. You can see my video yesterday for a rant about the ridiculousness. Today we're back to Foundation Friday, a foundational business building tip for you. So. The 21st century has been called the information age. However, in case you have been under a rock for the past few years, much more in the news and on people's minds and actively happening, uh, it could be more called the disinformation age. Uh, now, I didn't look these up in the dictionary, I just realized as I was starting the video, but uh, here's how I define the terms misinformation and disinformation. Both are dangerous and you want to stay away from both, and you do not want to disseminate either one. Um, here's how I see the difference. Misinformation is just something somebody gets wrong. They don't understand, they get it wrong. Disinformation is something people put out purposefully, knowing that it's wrong, to mislead people. And especially with the advent of social media in the past decade or so, uh, disinformation is an all-time high. It's easier than ever to do. I mean, back in the day, you know, uh, Nazi propaganda in World War II or something, you had to own printing presses and own the means of distribution uh, or uh, radio access, TV access. You know, nowadays there's YouTube, there's Facebook, anyone can put up a blog or a website or, as befitting this post, can put up a fake blog with the old fake news misinformation or even more dangerous disinformation so misinformation uh is why i'm recording this video today and talking about it because you know i do calls all the time with business owners and help them out and you too can get that help you simply go over to helpfromsteve.com and we get on the phone and i help you out with whatever business building obstacles or goals that you have uh, currently facing and i help you either achieve the goals or get through the obstacles or over under or whatever it is and I uh, had two different uh, business owners, struggling business owners, talk to me uh, this week, and both were suffering from misinformation. They were barking up the wrong tree. They were looking for help with something that is completely unnecessary. They had gotten misinformation from somebody. In other words, that person per perhaps likely meant well, but just doesn't know any better. And so uh, you know that I have founded the WOW strategy simple three-letter word, WOW, W-O-W, that stands for the three different things that you got to get right in all of your marketing and advertising, and only those three things to make it spin like a top and, uh, and work like crazy and put a system together for you to keep spitting out cash and bringing you floods of the ideal clients that you want. Sid is here, good seeing you. And so uh, misinformation, bad information, just wrong information, uh, is, is anything that's not included in the WOW strategy. That's why I simplified it down. And yet there's tons of people out there that I guess they're well-intentioned, they think they mean well, and they're selling you all kinds of stuff that just doesn't work. And it's just the wrong thing to do. So that's I, not just one, but two different business owners called me this week and asked me for help with something that my advice ended up just being run away. Stay away from that. You just don't need it at all. That's mis You've been misinformed. You are misinformed, and hopefully it didn't rise to the level of what I call disinformation. That's not what that I came up with a term. That's just how I look at it. That somebody purposely is misinforming somebody. That you see in uh, a lot. It's been, of course, in the news here in America, and therefore all around the world, in the politics world. And, of course, I was going to say we're up to another election season here, but we're always in an election season in the U.S., and for the past few years, isn't that fantastic because it's wonderful entertainment. I mean, it, to business owners, of course, it means very little in our life who the heck happens to be, what politician at what level and what they're doing because all it means is we just adjust our strategy to get around however they choose to hamper us or uh, try and stop us or whatever's going on. No matter what the economy is, no matter who's in political power, you know, only the nine to fives nine to fivers, the slaves basically, are, are at the whim and the mercy of us and the government, anyone that's the job creators of the world. But the job creators are not the mercy of anybody because we are in total control. So we can take the right steps, 
However, disinformation is rampant now and uh, certainly flying around social media. So number one, you wanna be on the lookout for both of those. You wanna be well versed and become a student in your area of expertise. And I just don't mean just the doing of your business because I'm sure that if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur, I'm just gonna assume that you have an excellent product or service. If not, please don't watch my videos. Don't, don't implement anything I teach because then you're just hurting people. But I assume you're really good at what you do and you know all about it. So, uh, you know, I'm not talking about disinformation or misinformation about the doing of your business. I'm talking about the advertising, the sales, the marketing of your business. Don't put out wrong information and don't purposely hurt people by putting out wrong information and feeding them lies. So that's both sides of it, okay? You wanna watch out and know enough about the marketing and advertising and sales of your business, which is almost the same in, in any industry. Uh, it's certainly if you, by the way, again, if you go to helpfromsteve.com and we get on the phone, you get my personal number, you get to my personal calendar, we get on the phone and You'll find out quick enough, or if you watch my videos or read my magazine or my podcast or my blog or anything, uh, or hear me speak somewhere or hear me interviewed somewhere, radio, TV, or whatever, you'll learn very quickly that you might think or have been misguided or misinformed to believe that your industry differs from any other when it comes to acquiring, keeping, and, uh, and, and serving clients, patients, members, customers, whatever they are. Pretty much it's all the same. In a foundational way, it is all the same, and there are just slight tweaks to it depending on where you are in the world, uh, where the economy is, what type of year it is, what type of business you have. Those are very minor, small tweaks, but the overall strategy, the overall concepts are the same. So you gotta know enough of those basic strategies and concepts to understand when you are being misinformed, or even worse, when you're being disinformed, when you're being fed purposely damaging information that can really hurt your business and your, therefore your family, your customers, clients, patients, members, suppliers, your whole community, anybody can, is gonna be really hurt by your business being hurt. So you gotta be on the watch for that. And then please, I implore you, do not be on the side of giving out disinformation or misinformation. And a lot of people are very tempted to do that. Bad salespeople are tempted to do that, to overstate things and to exaggerate uh, you know, beyond an acceptable level in their sales and marketing. So what do I mean by exaggerating to an acceptable level? Well, that's where you get the, uh, the takeout pizza box and it arrives at your home and it says on the cover, you've tried the rest, now try the best. Now, does that mean that scientifically the owner of that little pizza parlor in your town has scientifically done a study of every single pizza parlor in the whole world? and it has been scientifically, objectively determined that they have the best pizza right there, who knew, right in your little, of course not. Uh, in legal terms, people might know I have a law degree, but you don't need a law degree. In fact, you're about to learn it, and you maybe already know it just from watching this video. There's a term called puffery. That's a legal term, and it means what salespeople and advertising and marketing people do when they harmlessly exaggerate things and say things like, you've tried the rest, now try the best. You know, we got the best thing going. Uh, you saw this for years. I used to laugh every week at the episode of the Apprentice TV show with Donald Trump. No matter, you know, because now that the whole world sees how great he is at this puffery, this exaggeration, or the anti-Trumpers love to get all discombobulated off the B-pen and say, he's lying! It's called puffery in our world. Like, he would come out every week if you ever watch that show. <laughs> I'm laughing just thinking about it. The old Apprentice show, he would come out every week and say, this week... Uh, you know, we have the CEO of this company and we're going to sell lemonade for him or we're going to do a brochure for him or whatever it is. And then he described the company as the greatest company in the history of mankind or whatever they were doing. And anyone with any experience dealing with any of these companies knew that like, ah, oh, it's Trump being Trump. Like how ridiculous. Like we know that is not. Carnival Cruise Line is not the finest cruise line in the history of the world. But Trump being a master uh, marketer is going to use a little puffery and come out and go like Carnival Cruise Line, man, they're the best, and blah, 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 blah. That's, that's not what I'm talking about, disinformation, misinformation, and don't get all caught up in all the anti-Trumpers. Don't get all, by the way, don't get all caught up in anything the pro-Trumpers or the anti-Trumpers say. They're both tiny slivers of the population, and they're both way off the deep end. 
So probably about 80% of Americans are in the middle and couldn't give a rip uh, about getting their emotions and their panties up in a bunch, either way, pro-Trump or anti-Trump. We, we just observe the whole thing and kind of are amused by it all. Uh, and if we're business owners, we only have to be amused by it all because, again, no matter what happens in the government or in the world or anywhere else, uh, it just means we shift strategies. It doesn't actually harm us in the long term as long as we make the right moves. But anyway, so there's an acceptable level, of course, of misinformation if you say something like, we're the best. But please don't say anything like, uh, you know, we have been cited by so-and-so organization that we are the best. Or, you know, it's been scientifically proven we're the best, unless it has. Or don't tell people like, uh, you know, I guarantee, blah, 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 if you can't follow through with it. Don't say, uh, you know, I just engaged a, uh, uh, a new person, just hired a new person today. And, uh, you know, I put forth, uh, he was in competition with a whole bunch of people for what he's going to do for two of my businesses. I own a whole bunch of businesses, but I'm going to put him to work for two of them. And one of the things he said is, well, I guarantee that I'm going to get you X, 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 Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. He goes, I'm not just going to tell you I'm going to do my best. I guarantee. But, well, he better hold to that guarantee. Now, personally, I didn't care. I wasn't looking for a guarantee. I, I, he was being interviewed as one of the finalists because I believed he was excellent at what he did. I have excellent uh, referrals from people I trust and that I know. And then he came out and he felt compelled to say, and I guarantee that you'll get X, Y, and Z every single month from me, blah, blah, blah. So... That's where I draw the line. That's what I'm talking about. I don't draw the line on saying that stuff. I draw the line on if you can't deliver. I think that was an old quote from Muhammad Ali. I think is the one who said, it ain't bragging if you can back it up. So it ain't disinformation or misinformation if you can back it up and if it becomes true. So if you do have the best pizza in the world because you've won all the international competitions and you have all the ribbons or the best pizza in your town or the best hamburger in your town or the best auto repair in your county or whatever it is, that's not disinformation or misinformation, and, and what I'm saying is, I don't even think it is if you just say, you know, people say that we're the best, or uh, lots of people think we're the best, or, you know, we, our service is, uh, you know, non I That's all okay. I'm talking about disinformation, misinformation. My world of helping people with advertising and marketing it would be stuff that is not included in the WOW strategy. And if you want to know more about the WOW strategy, just go to my website, stevecypress.com, and you'll see a video It's only 10 minutes long about the basics of the WOW strategy. You decide, am I giving out disinformation and misinformation and harming people, or is that really good stuff? And it helps you zero in on what you need to be concerned about to attract customers, clients, patients, or members, and everything else you don't. Everything else, if someone tells you, you need this, I'm here to tell you, and I want you to understand, that's at best misinformation. It's at best mistaken, and it's at worst insidious disinformation, purposely misleading you to take your money. You gotta watch out for both as it comes your way, and please do not be anyone that puts out either one going out. Uh, trust is at a low point probably of all time right now, and so why would you wanna take a risk and uh, lose any kind of uh, trust or a decent relationship you have with anybody, including no relationship at all, by going out and giving out misinformation or disinformation. I mean, just uh, crazy things to do. So be on the lookout if it might be coming your way and do not add to the heap of garbage of the world by adding more, either misinformation or disinformation or both, into the world. That's just my advice for today on Foundation Friday. And I see Sid says, Check out my Facebook Live. I think you will enjoy them. Now, I don't know if that's a message just to me or also to everybody else watching, but go ahead. Check out Sid Rothbard's Facebook Live because he thinks you'll enjoy them. But, of course, he makes a humongous mistake in not following the WOW strategy by not saying why I or anybody else would enjoy them. And, therefore, it's likely that nobody, unless you're not really a business owner and not really even a human being and you have just so much time to kill that you want to waste time, I guess you go over there and watch them. But uh, if that's the kind of crap that you're doing in your business, uh, is just telling people, I think you will enjoy my service, and not telling them why, or you'll enjoy my video, or my blog, or my, uh, my, my, my products, my services, whatever, you gotta tell people why. Come on now, get a clue. 
Anyway, hopefully uh, later on in another comment, Sid will tell you why, what the benefit you would get uh, from his Facebook Live and whatever that means. And, uh, and then you can go do that. But anyway, there's a little bonus lesson for, uh, I guess, uh, well, no, that doesn't rise to the level of misinformation. It's just bad. It's just bad uh, marketing, advertising, sales, whatever you want to call it, to attract people by just telling them what you think instead of telling them what benefit they would get and letting them decide whether they think they would enjoy it. Anyway, thanks for that, Sid, and for ad allowing that bonus lesson to come through. And uh, my beautiful wife, Michelle, is here. Great seeing you. Uh, I just saw you two minutes ago before I pressed the start button, and I'm about to head back into the house for uh, watch a movie, and uh, I will see you again in a couple of minutes. And uh, to everybody else out there, I'll see you tomorrow on Social Media Saturday. Thanks for being here today as the sun has now set behind me on another exquisite day here in the Phoenix Scottsdale area. I think it only got up to about 106 or so. And up in the mountains here with a nice breeze and uh, a few degrees cooler and no humidity. It was another beautiful day in the low 100s. We love it here with those kind of temps with no humidity in the summer. So I hope you're enjoying wherever you are and I'll catch you tomorrow on Social Media Saturday. Over and out. Bye-bye.